Memphis right here, Sarah with Austin Memphis. Hello. Hi. My hair is uh, just a question. This isn't your first uh, Christmas gift. So what brought you? Uh, it's not. Is it not my first Christmas gift? Did you do a Christmas carol? Oh, Christmas carol. Oh, yes. I forgot about that. Sorry. I forgot about that. Charles Dickens is dead. You won't like it. Um, yes, Christmas carol. Well, with Jim Carrey. Please, yeah. this is a completely different thing. Exactly. So what, did you, what brought you to this project? Uh, well, they offered me the role, and then they said, I said, it's unfortunate, but you'll have to play, play Chris Christopherson's wife, and you'll have to play Harry Connick's mother. It's a terrible job, but someone has to do it, you know, so I, I said, of course I will. So how much fun was that set to work? It was great. It was great. You know, those guys, they have a great sense of humor, and we sat around and told stories and jokes, and, and there's no ego being thrown around the room, which is great, you know, and they're all icons, and they know they're good, and they don't have to do anything. Great, I have great fun. Happiest set I ever worked on. Yes. Because there wasn't one jerk in the company. <laughs> that's, that's great. First, I must say, you have marvelous eyes. Oh, like, thank they you. are bedazzling. Thank you. Um, uh, earlier on in your career, you uh, played in uh, Transamerica, which was a yes. film that had a transgender character. Um, in American mainstream media, we don't get a lot of you know older people or transgender people on the screen. They're never really kind of the heroes of the film. I'm wondering, what do we do to change that? Well, I think you've got to write more scripts that will encompass that. I mean, you know, and that's got to come from people who, who either are transgender or who, who know that world very well. I wanted to do that picture because it was about something important. It was about the dangerous and horrible lives that they are forced to live because they're in danger all the time. And, you know, people say how, how, how gay people are maligned and are threatened. Well, transgender people have it a lot worse, you know, and, and so I thought it was about something that needed to be said and was important, and I also I thought that, that, um, uh, that he wrote a terrific script. Thank you very much. Pleasure, thank you. Thanks.